Lucas Cranach the Younger, seen here in his only self-portrait, was one of the most significant German Renaissance artists. Together with his father, he created numerous masterpieces. The painter was born 500 years ago, and now Germany is celebrating that anniversary with a number of events. His father, Lukas Kanak the Elder, was court artist in Wittenberg. His son was born into a flourishing art business. The family provided both the nobility and the bourgeoisie with paintings and prints. The motifs were mainly religious and accompanied the Reformation, which began with Martin Luther's thesis in Wittenberg. Kranach made his mark on the Reformation with his artworks. They helped spread the ideology of the Reformation. The Kranachs produced art for the masses. Often artworks were made in large quantities and popular motifs were even kept in stock. The artist worked with stencils and wood carvings. The paintings weren't always the work of the Kranachs, they were sometimes done by their employees. The artists at the Kranach workshop didn't have their own personalized styles, but followed a workshop style. The works couldn't be recognized as coming from one particular artist. It was a communal affair. So it's very difficult to say whether something was done by Kranach the Younger or by his father. Lukas Kranach the Younger was already running the workshop together with his father in his early 20s. He remained true to the prevailing style, but did make his own additions. He became especially well known for his lifelike portraits. The workshop produced more than 5,000 paintings in around 80 years. 1,500 of them remain to this day. Researcher Gunnar Heidenreich is the founder of the Kranach Digital Archive, an internet platform. He tries to establish who painted which artwork by using infrared cameras to look for clues. And successfully. The Reformation altar in Weimar was always attributed to Kranach the Elder. Heidenreich, however, found proof that it has to be the work of the sun. This must be by Karnak the Younger, because the underdrawing indicates his typical style. Lines that are short, often changing direction, abrupt and sometimes rather scribbled. Karnak the Younger liked to work with black chalk for the underdrawing, unlike his father. Valuable information for the art market. After all, Karnak paintings fetch up to 13 million euros but only if they were by Lukas Kranach the Elder, or his son Lukas Kranach the Younger, who was born 500 years ago this year.